Hi, I'm Louise Beard from Forward Insight and Strategy and I'd like to welcome you to the NZC and Tourism uh, webinar series. This is module five, um, focused on accommodation and building value. The fuller version of this module is available as well as reports, um, presentations um, and practical how-to documents on the website nzcntourism.co.nz. This program is sponsored by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment um, and is focused around building value to and from the China FIT or Free Independent Traveller Market. In this module we will cover what the value of the FIT market is, what they're looking for, some top tips managing issues, food, a little bit on storytelling, sharing, new developments and um, how to use our Lean Canvas planning tool. The Chinese visitors to New Zealand are very valuable. Um, they are growing at a very strong rate and they are second behind um, Australia. By two, within the next five years, the visitor numbers are predicted to be up to a million uh, people, so at least three times where we are now. And the value is grow, growing even more strongly. They also want to come 12 months of the year, which is um, potentially a very attractive proposition to New Zealand accommodation providers to even out seasonal demand. And you can see demand is particularly strong in May and October, cor um, correlating with the main Chinese holiday periods. Who is coming? Very confident independent travellers who generally prefer four and five star hotels, but are very happy to um, accept and experience a, quite a wide range of accommodation. They are travelling with others and very strongly live their lives online through social media and that is a great way that we can influence and connect with them. They do travel in clusters and considering how and what the, what the impact of having um, a although it's independent, a group of people who are arriving together and staying together is for your business is really important. How do you deal with, with um, small groups? How do you keep them together? And do you have an offer that's relatively equitable, which is very important for the Chinese? They often do prefer to share, even at the very high end, and if they are friends and adults coming together. So again, looking at providing spaces where Chinese can be together to share, to enjoy each other's company um, is going to be something that's very important. So with a redevelopment, new build or even your own existing accommodation, look at how you can facilitate and what will be the implications of people wanting to spend time together. Generally they are travelling um, with their partner or spouse, so groups of adults together, but at least a third are travelling with family um, and also there are around about 15% coming with children under 15 at the moment. And that group is potentially growing. They, it's also significant for accommodation providers in that sometimes the Chinese do not book children in and so you may end up with children that you were not expecting arriving. If that's an issue for you, you need to cl very clearly communicate um, the rate um, and the booking requirement for children um, or have a strategy to deal with children unexpectedly arriving. So again, shows us that around 15% are children. I think the main thing here is again, with gracious respect, how do we um, deal with unexpected children? Our Chinese visitors are looking for support systems, um, particularly around guidance and information around what's great to do in our local area. Um, the concierge role at hotels, motels, and any accommodation is really important. It must be um, well informed and particularly well informed about food options. So re review um, this, is it good enough? Is your front of house staff very, very well informed on what to do? What are they particularly looking for in, in terms of accommodation? And this is again our independent travellers. Now you can see from this graph, the height is the level of interest in uh, different styles of accommodation and the light blue is last time, the dark blue is intention on the next visit. Hotels, predominantly four and five star hotels, are the main um, type of accommodation um, that people want to stay in, so around 80% of that. 
but there is also a desire to have different sorts of experiences um, on their trip and um, there is a very high level of overall satisfaction with every type of accommodation that we have to offer. So no matter where you are in the scheme, there is an opportunity to provide accommodation and deliver really well to the independent visitor. In terms of hotels, mainly four and five star hotel demand and interest, it's fair to say that overall we're delivering pretty well, but if you look at the five star area, we're only getting around 72% um, giving that a five out of five. So we have some room to go to improve our five star level of accommodation to global international five star level. Some examples here of different styles of uh, more experiential accommodation and glamping. With these, um, it is important that people have a sense of safety and security, that there is really good lighting. Most Chinese are not used to being in the pitch dark. Um, and that there are ensuite on, on facilities available um, and shower facilities, um, ideally one for each um, of the glamping um, units. Architecture is a very strong draw card, particularly at the high level, and if you are investing in high level um, accommodation development, having a renowned architect and communicating the architect is a, um, an aspect um, and, and a value driver in its own right. We've got information here on different types of accommodation, roles, issues and opportunities, so feel free to look this up in detail, again, in the full module on the website. Um, camper vans is very in the environment experiential. Holiday parks, great for groups and particularly families sharing time together. The youth hostels, again, um, fabulous for group sharing. And in many instances, our visitors are quite happy to compromise on accommodation. It's not that they couldn't afford others, but they want a variety of experiences and will spend money on um, other experiences if they save on accommodation. Um, the one of the main things about that is to manage expectations so that people know what they're coming to. Motels and the self-catering um, option very strongly appealing as our service departments and the Batch and Airbnb are a real window into New Zealanders' lifestyle and living in New Zealand. Um, having um, good um, the linen um, service and cleaning is very important if, and, and very clear um, instructions in Mandarin if it's in any way complicated is important in, in these situations. Glamping, um, very strong appeal, but predominantly an interest in hotels and high-end luxury lodges as well. So some top tips for accommodation. The welcome, very, very important for Chinese. Um, it's intentional, it's there, not offhand, and um, assistance if required. Have a deal, uh, particularly for very large bookings of clustered groups and um, um, that can make a real difference, but it doesn't have to be large. It's more about acknowledgement and relationship. If there are safety issues, particularly around um, pools, beaches, streams, make sure that this information is communicated and translated on a handout in Mandarin. You absolutely desire, de uh, deserve to represent yourself with great photography. Um, make sure that you are linking your experience to the outside if that is part of what you have available. Gardens, views, stargazing, what is in the environment is as important as what is inside and certainly showing your bed configuration won't set you apart. If you want to build a seasonal demand, make sure that you link into the seasonal offer in your environment. Why is it good to come to your region or your place at different times of the year? Um, develop a database so that you can start sharing um, new developments, new experiences um, out, ideally through WeChat, but also potentially through collecting email, uh, email addresses. And we have more information on WeChat in the website and um, in the digital module. Um, encourage sharing. The key thing here is asking people to share if they've liked the experience, but also be geolocation activated, and that means to be geo-tagged um, on um, Foursquare, the Chinese platform, and also Google um, geolocation. And we can, we've got information on how to do that in the website. Um, drinking water, generally it is not understood that you could 
possibly drink water out of a tap. So if you can do that in your place, um, make it clear why that you can and where the water comes from, why it's so good. And providing hot water can make a real difference. So that's warm water, um, potentially available in restaurants and in reception areas, is preferred over cold. Um, Union Pay, the preferred Chinese um, card, easy to get this from major New Zealand banks and the rates are lower than uh, general credit cards. Cleanliness is very important, um, ideally clean flooring with disposable slippers. Um, carpets aren't preferred but if you do have those make sure that they're regularly cleaned. Um, covers, ideally not bedspreads but washable um, that are changed on each visitor and a variety of pillows or a, certainly a thinner and thicker pillow. If you have a mini bar, consider two minute noodles as an easy snack and certainly fresh milk is, um, is appreciated as a drink. If you do have issues, um, what do you do? Certainly you explain the guidelines with respect. Chinese are very respectful, they do not want to offend and if you clearly explain what is our protocol, what is expected, um, with generosity, um, people will, will want to learn and follow those rules. Um, if it's important, translate it in the handout into Mandarin. And again, if you need um, to be very clear that children are coming and that there is a charge for children, make that clear on your information sheets. Um, some tips around food and accommodation. Um, equipment, they um, often use many dishes, so just make sure you've got enough for serving. And a rice cooker and wok can go a long way in terms of improving the cooking experience. Providing pantry packs with cooking oil, vinegar, soy sauce and chilli flakes enables Chinese to cook pretty much um, a wide range of dishes. And you can also offer um, New Zealand meal packs, meat packs, um, or special events if you've got a pizza oven and trade up and sell these as um, things that can um, support our visitors. Um, and again, if you have a restaurant, Blackboard graphics or a QR code link to a translated menu or chef's um, top dishes um, can make understanding what's available much easier and very seamless. Of Chinese visitors do not want major Chinese signage um, overtly, so a QR code enables that to be subtle. And tell me why it's special, um, particularly highlighting seafood and local freshness is appreciated. Examples of how a QR can, code can be linked um, in the real world are milk, appreciated. Omelettes are a great breakfast option, and in fact, eggs generally. Um, are um, always a go-to and congee if you're a larger organisation a great recipe here it does tend to take 80 minutes to cook well so it may not be so relevant in um, smaller businesses Chinese language um, while one person in each um, FIT uh, cluster group generally will speak English it's not always um, that great and so some different options here for language, right from visual signs and symbols down to having Mandarin speaking staff, which can make a huge difference, and everything in between. Um, do feel confident to use Google Translate, which can sometimes help, um, and that's on WeChat as well. But don't, don't trust it for important translations as things can um, get mis mistranslated. So getting people sharing about you is important and building reputation. So if you are geolocated and you people take photos of your place, that will be um, identified in social media postings. They can click on that and find you. So make sure you are geolocated on Foursquare and geolocation. WeChat is a great tool for connecting, communicating and um, following up and building reputation. There are two ways to do this, having a private account and to do that you just download the app and start sharing and collecting friends or a public official account which enables much greater functionality um, including booking offers, payment um, and building your own almost website within WeChat 
if this is something that you're interested in, and certainly higher end accommodation, there's some huge advantages in doing this, um, look more fully on our website. Um, if you are de doing new developments, consider groups and equity. So how can you build spaces that enable people to be together in an equitable way? Consider how you can make it more experiential, particularly linking to the environment through windows, roofs, um, or open private spaces. And look at reputation and status. What is your unique story through architecture, location, place, uh, materials, or design? So now develop a plan. We have our Lean Canvas format here. The focus in this module is around developing your product offer and experience through accommodation. If you want to, you can use this to build a plan on a page targeted either at the China FIT market or your visitors in general. If you would like additional information, again, do go to our website, particularly on um, nzcandtourism.co.nz, but also there's great information at tourismnewzealand.com. Um, and um, regional links as well.